We don't want fire ants in Australia. They're a highly invasive imported pest from South America and can do a lot of damage. They're called fire ants because their stings can make your skin feel like it's on fire. Unlike some other insects, they don't just sting and stop. They sting repeatedly and call on their ant friends to do the same. For some people, being swarmed and stung by fire ants can be fatal. Fire ants have the potential to take over backyards and parks or destroy the humble picnic and backyard cricket game. They can also attack animals, damage crops and machinery. If fire ants are left uncontrolled, they could infest 97% of Australia and surpass the combined annual damage of our most invasive pests, costing us up to $2 billion each year. Without our efforts so far, fire ants would have spread north to Townsville, west past Longreach and south to Albury by now. Protecting Australia and Australians from fire ants is a national priority. To ensure we have the best chance of a future free of the pest, we're delivering the Fire Ant Response Plan. Our plan is backed by science, improved technology and innovation, and everything we and the rest of the world knows about fire ant eradication. We need to work from the outside edge of the known infestation and treat 100% of targeted properties multiple times over several years as we move inwards until Australia is free of fire ants. In the eradication treatment area, we treat all properties, either by handheld spreader, utility terrain vehicle, or from the air. Treatment is quick, easy, and safe. We don't need access to buildings, and we don't treat roofs, waterways, or dams. We will need access to treat 100% of properties, and we'll need to treat multiple times over several years to ensure all nests are destroyed. Even if there are no obvious signs of fire ants, they could have been infesting your property for months without you even realising. In the surveillance area, our team is out searching for any nest that may have escaped treatment. Just one missed nest could jeopardise national eradication efforts. While our eradication officers are busy treating and clearing all fire ants in the eradication, treatment and surveillance areas, it's important that we keep fire ant numbers relatively low in the fire ant suppression area. This helps to reduce the chances of people being stung and makes eradication treatment easier when it arrives in that area. The Fire Ant Suppression Task Force work with property owners and tenants to help them self-treat fire ant nests on their land. There's a range of different options for property owners to quickly, safely and easily treat fire ant nests themselves. To find out which area you live in and how you can help, visit our website. Fire ant treatment is safe for humans, animals and the environment. It is tried, tested and approved by the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority. Our main treatment products are made of tiny pieces of corn grit soaked in soybean oil, which is tasty to hungry fire ants. The oil contains an insect growth regulator, the same one found in everyday pest control products, but at a much lower concentration. For an average suburban yard, we only need to use less than one teaspoon of insect growth regulator mixed in one cup of corn grit. The worker ants collect the corn grit product and feed it to their queen, which prevents her from producing any new worker ants for several weeks. Without workers, the colony cannot properly feed and care for itself. The product must be applied several times at specific intervals to prevent worker replacement long enough for the colony to die. The low amount of product used and spacing out treatment over multiple years protects our native animals, plants and waterways. Fire ants spread relatively slowly on their own, but people can speed them up. Moving organic materials such as soil, hay, mulch, manure, quarry products, potted plants and turf carrying fire ants puts our country at risk. Fire ant biosecurity zones are in place and anyone moving these organic materials are legally obliged to understand and follow the movement controls. You can play your part in the fight against fire ants by doing three simple things. Regularly check your property and local neighbourhood for fire ants. We have great resources online to help you identify, report, and if you're located in the suppression area, treat fire ants. When our fire ant teams visit your property, let them in so they can do their very important job. It doesn't take very long and they only need access to outdoor areas. 
If you are moving organic materials such as soil, mulch, hay or turf, make sure you follow the movement controls so you don't spread fire ants. We all have a role to play in protecting Australia from fire ants and preserving it for future generations. To find out more about fire ants and what you can do to help, visit us at fireants.org.au.